realize that labeling items is a really important task for blind people to do. They need to label their canned goods so they can navigate around the pantry. They need to label their DVDs so they can pick out the movie they want to watch. And they need to label their prescription medication so they can take the right uh, pill bottle out of the medicine cabinet. My friend Wen Shin will be operating our machine today. Uh, we have our newest second prototype uh, that we just built this last semester. It's made with six buttons, which correspond to the six different uh, dots on a braille cell. Uh, so each button corresponds to a different dot, and also a space bar and a cutting mechanism. I'll be typing out MIT. And as you notice, sometimes I may be typing faster than the labeler is printing it, but the labeler is able to remember some of the characters that are just typed and still print it after I've finished typing. And now the, labeler is, the label is uh, ready to be pasted on any object you like, like ourselves. We had to do some torque calculations, do some studies of you know, what kind of force does it take to emboss a braille dot of the right specified dimensions by the American standards of braille. Um, into the tape, you know, what does it take to cut through this tape? And we wanted to introduce a scoring mechanism in our tape so that you can cut through just the tape but not the adhesive backing, making it, creating for yourself a tab. Uh, I remember this time uh, when we were working in the lab and it was really, really late at night. We are trying to meet a deadline and uh, the labeler would just not work for some reason and we were all really, really down and suddenly after tinkling with it for a bit more, just that bit more, when everyone was just about to go to sleep, uh, it's, it started working and we all just jumped out for joy. We had to make sure that none of our parts were gonna break easily. We just pretty much make a, a 3D model of uh, any part that we need and then we can put forces on top, of, uh, on top of it, underneath it, in any different direction and see when it's gonna break, where it's gonna break, and at what force. <laughs> Is it coming out okay? Yeah. Yeah. There, was a, there was a little blind boy who came up to our booth at a conference we attended in California and was so impressed with the labeler uh, that he kept typing on it and came up eventually with this three-foot label that he was so excited about and he wanted to show his mom uh, just what he had done. I learned a lot about working with customers and talking to and communicating with the people who you're going to develop the product for and working with them consistently throughout the process because if you don't do that you might end up with a product that's completely not what people need or will use or will work for them. Come on, they want to know what you wrote. Uh, is that right set up? Ben Black. Mom, I love you. My advice to any young inventor uh, would be to uh, don't throw away any silly idea. Keep, just think of the craziest ideas that you can think of and just think of a lot of them. A lot of them, a lot of them, a lot of them. And write them down, keep them in a notebook. It would be great if in three years we see this product being sold in many countries and we're currently talking to some manufacturers who have, who have markets in like a couple hundred countries. It's awesome! <laughs> All right, thanks Ben. <laughs> My name is Karina and I'm an inventor. I'm Josh. I'm Wenxian. And we're inventors! inventors.